Minecraft Me is brought to you by viewers and listeners like you on Patreon. That's right, Patreon.com is a place where you can go and support Minecraft Me for as little as $1 per month. And when you do that, you help keep this show on the air. Head over to Patreon.com slash Minecraft to support Minecraft Me. This is Minecraft Me, a show that is about Minecraft where we bring you some of the most awesome tutorials on the internet. Reviews of mods and pack picks that you can use when you play. We take you on awesome adventures. All with Chase and Joe. Hey everybody, welcome again to another edition of Minecraft Me. This is the show that's entirely about the game from Mojang. Or Mojang, depending on the part of the world that you're in called Minecraft. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an expert. We like to show you how to play this awesome Building Blocks game. But not only that, we love to play games with you guys in the community. Do a monthly Survivor Games if you're a patron. Not only that, but we have an awesome community server. We have forums. We do things that are so cool like tutorials and texture packs and resource packs and adventures. We have a great time with you guys. And I want to say thank you for downloading and checking out our show. My name is Chase Nunes. Joining me every single week on this awesome show is my good friend, guide, teacher, and the one who keeps our server running and purring like a kitten, Mr. Joseph Falvey. Hey, Joe, how are you, sir? I never actually had a server purr. Eh, well, it's got that kind of a hum to it, though, doesn't it? I would assume so, but it's it it's not here, so I don't actually know what it sounds like. Yeah, that's true. We could ask him to plug a USB microphone into it, see if we can hear it. <laughs> now, Joe, Joe, you know, we 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 host the show. We do this every week. Mm-hmm. We've been doing it now for 134 weeks. Not consecutively, but we've been doing it for a while. And uh, there's another major component of the show. I don't know if you realize this, Joe. But we have a, an awesome chat room that is joining our show live right now. They uh, they heeded the call. They 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 saw that we are live. We're live on Twitch. We're also live ad free mm-hmm. at live.geekgamer.tv, and they're checking us out right now. So there's the chat room. Uh, I see Sonic in there, Schaefer King, CC fifty one seventy nine, Timberwolf. Uh, I think there's Grim is in there as well. Josh is in there as well, and countless others who are probably watching and lurking and doing that sort of thing. So uh, so yes, we have a great show lined up for you. Something so cool that uh, I can't even tease, because Joe's just gonna just show it off, show it off to me as a surprise. It's, it's a it's kind of a cool contraption. It's a contraption. A, okay. It's a it. Well, it's a the nice thing is it's a really really simple build and okay. it's sort of a I I would call it a reverse sorting system, um, which doesn't really explain anything. But we'll 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 look at it. It's really easy and uh, it's the sort of thing that could be kind of useful, especially if you end up with gathering a lot of junk. Ah. And uh, you want to collect it. Cool. So we're going to do that. We also are going to reveal the results of the huge, well, actually not huge. We only got four entries, server challenge number two, or was it number three? I think I got it confused. It's technically number three. Uh, I I said two. I think it's number three. Number one was the House of Signs. Number two was the tower. This is the arcade. And so what we have are four entries, and unfortunately, only three uh, can be given ribbons and prizes, if you will. But they were voted on by you guys in our community forum, so we're going to reveal the results for that. We also have the Minecraft News of the Week, and we have our questions that we cover on every single episode. So let's jump in and start with the news. And this story, really, to steal from another show that I do, really grinds my gears and also still from family guy this really grinds my gears so we we've talked about a convention that was going to be happening in new york city called minorama this was a non uh official event by mojang they were not uh giving any kind of permission to do it uh but basically a lot of famous minecraft youtubers were going to converge in new york city parents kids so it was like a Minecraft-based convention without having the official blessing of Minecraft, if it makes any sense. Right. So how would you feel, Joe, if you booked not only your airplane airplane ticket, but you booked a hotel ticket, maybe a rental car, maybe, 
Uh, you set up everything in advance. Maybe you're even coming from another country. Say you're you're coming from, say, the UK or something like that. So you, you booked it. You're going to fly over on British Airways. You've booked it in advance. You've been looking forward to it. And then just days, days before the event, it's been postponed indefinitely. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this is like the smells of Scam City. Uh, a lot of people are very, very pissed off at it. Uh, there's actually tweets that were sent out from Minorama, at Minorama on Twitter. And this is usually a big warning sign. This is from Kotaku, and I agree with the article here. Please note that we are not a scam. It is with deep regret that I have to inform you that Minorama has been postponed. Stay tuned for updates. And uh, the, the person who wrote the article said, if you have to say something like we are not a scam, something's probably wrong. Later on the afternoon, uh, there was a tweet sent out saying Monorama was postponed because financing fell through. We tried everything to recover, but had to postpone. Now, Joe, you had some thoughts about this. This is not officially news. This is just opinion, of course. Uh, but uh, what do you think? <laughs> I don't understand how they can say financing fell through when they apparently sold thousands of tickets right. for for as much as 150 bucks, yeah. that was a, how much a Saturday Sunday pass cost. Yeah. And um they couldn't afford to put it on. I guess that that the venues in New York must cost hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars a weekend to rent. Oh yeah. Um huge. And this yeah, I this can't, is this I is can't a imagine peer. they cost. I mean, this is a pier in New York City. Uh so it, yeah. it's going uh, I mean, I very pricey. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. I can't believe that, that that's the case. And and it is completely absurd because, yeah, there I'm sure there are people who decided to make a week out of it, flew over early in the week, maybe even before they announced that it was being postponed. Yeah, they're going to make the a intention whole thing. Of, yeah. Right, exactly. You're yeah. going to New York City, so you might as well catch yeah. a couple shows and yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, check out the sites. And then cap off your trip with uh, with this Minorama thing. Yeah. And um, nope. Instead, you flew all the way to New York City so that you could go to an event that doesn't happen. Yeah, I... I honestly, you know, uh, I had some people ask me, are we going? Uh, and honestly, I'd rather save our resources for the official Minecraft event. Yeah. Uh, I really, ha sorry, I really have no interest in, in checking out other Minecraft YouTubers at an event when I can just contact them directly. I, I just, I, I, I don't even consider, you know, I don't consider ourselves to be at a, a plateau where oh, we have to be featured to, to be at an event. I, I just, there's something about that that rubs me a little bit. Uh, and yeah. uh, secondly, you know, I, I feel, and this is of course opinion, that this is a, a group, a uh, convention group, if you will, where they weren't really about community. It was more along the lines of, hey, we're going to have a convention that has Minecraft related. We're going to try to make some money off of this thing um, and, and do it, um, that sort of thing. But unfortunately, obviously, things fell through, according to them. We don't really know uh, the full truth of, of the whole situation. But uh, man, uh, if any of you guys who watch or check out our show and you are personally affected, please email me. I'd love to know uh, if they've given you any additional information past of what we've received here on the, on the story here from Kotaku. But gosh, I... It's one of those situations where you might have some parents out there or maybe kids who saw this event. They see Minecraft or Minorama or whatever, mm -hmm. and they think it's a it's a Minecraft related event. And now you're gonna have parents perhaps saying, "Wow, man, Minecraft's like this is crap. This is terrible." And 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 parents, you know, don't do to do diligence and research and think, "Oh, well, this is Minecraft. This is Mojang. This is their fault." Um, there could be some yeah, and, really bad PR from this. Yeah, and and you know the thing about it too is you know they mentioned in, they mentioned in their back and forth with with uh, via Twitter that financing fell through and they had three weeks to make it work. They maybe should have announced something three weeks ago when they a potential had issue or or, right. or realized that it was fairly likely nothing that something was going to happen because as it is right now, I'm I'm just guessing on this, but my my strong belief is that someone in this group or or probably several people in this group are going to come together and and file a big old giant lawsuit about this about all of the lost monies that that I mean you know they could people could have been laying out thousands of dollars and be out huge sums of money trying to go to this event 
you know, like like we said earlier, an airfare and hotels and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, New York City, I, I don't think I would choose to have a rental car in New York City, uh, but there are probably people who would. Uh, yeah. And um, but yeah, it's 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 a little I, silly. And, and somebody somebody asked in the forums uh, or in the chat room while we were talking about this, they said, yeah. you know, why it it's free advertising for Mojang. Why wouldn't they turn it off? Well, Mojang more recently has protected their IP more than they've said it's free advertising. Uh, in, back in the beginning, it might have been, you know, hey, free advertising, great, Minecraft, more more people hear about it, the better. But now that Minecraft is the number one selling PC game ever, um, which happened also this week, yeah, they yeah. probably don't care yeah. about the free advertising that much anymore. No, no. It's not really that big a deal. And so and, and this is a this is this is a major situation where you have the potential of huge bad brushback. And mm -hmm. I'm 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 really hoping yeah. that Minecraft or I'm sorry, Mojang says something. I really want them to. I want them to say, hey, you know, we want to remind everybody that we were not affiliated with in this with this event in any way, shape, or fashion, you know, those those types of types of situations. Because uh, you know, we, we love this game and I know a lot of people do and a lot of kids probably pushed a lot of people to say, hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, take me to this. I want to go. And then all of a sudden, you know, just like, ugh. so hopefully you guys, if you are affected by this, I, I want to hear from you. Uh, send an email, minecraftme at geekgamer.tv. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just really, really sad and really, really terrible. And that's why I really like you know, publicly uh, funded and not just publicly funded, but really transparent organizations like what we're trying to do with our Patreon is you could see exactly what everything is happening right in front of you. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to hide the numbers. We have no idea how many people bought tickets to this thing at $150 a pop. Uh, you know, it's just... They, they say and, thousands, but we don't know if, you know, we don't know if that is true or if that's how many they had for sale or... You know, it's, it's really it's unclear. borderline criminal criminal. I mean, we Yeah, and and you know yeah. the the big difference between like this and Minecon. So the thing about Minecon is Minecon is backed by what is now a pretty big company. Right. They they not only could they take a hit like this without much difficulty, you know, if if maybe they didn't sell out enough tickets, which right. Uh, you know, if they didn't sell enough tickets to Minecon, they could take a hit and still do it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that when you buy a ticket for Minecon, you get back way more than you actually put into it. Uh, I mean, for the one that we went to in Orlando, as an example, they rented all of Universal's Islands of Adventure yeah. for one after one way, evening. Just so happens, I, get, look what I have <laughs> right here. I, yeah. I, 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 mine con's great. I mean, I, I really hope that we can go again. Uh, no matter where it is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I mean, I have my Minecraft pin still yeah. in the box. You know, I didn't want to open them up. I mean, I, I'm so enamored with it, and to see somebody like this organization and let I'm yeah. let, let's let's play a little bit on the optimist side maybe there was some sort of cataclysmic issue that being said well, maybe, maybe they had a a, a big angel maybe. investor who was was paying for everything and and on the condition yeah. that they sold enough tickets to make it profitable and yeah. they just didn't reach it and yeah. the guy pulled his money out um well hopefully they'll do the right you thing know, but they'll offer yeah. ref they'll give refunds and let's just hope hope it works out well for everybody. The the one sucky part that we already mentioned is people that have booked their their airline travel is oh, yeah. usually non refundable. No, many people don't buy refundable tickets anymore for airline travel because they're just too expensive to do. Uh, yeah. Some hotels you should be able to get back. Rental cars they should be able to get back. Hopefully, at least all international travelers typically will do uh, travel insurance. Yeah. So yeah. so they'll they'll they may have some option there, but. But yeah, if you were flying cross country or cross around the world to get to this thing, you're you're out. I mean, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's rough. That's rough. So, <laughs> well, that's much best not for, right. for all those. And uh, gosh, Minorama, man, you guys. Yeah, let's talk about cold. let's right. yeah. Let's talk about some actually some good news tomorrow, July tenth. All you guys who play on Minecraft Pocket Edition, you getting a huge update, big update. Is their biggest update ever, which will include infinite worlds, caves, loads of new blocks, including monster eggs, huge munch mushroom blocks, 
Wolves! You're going to get wolves, flowers, new mobs, including Endermen and Spooky Mushrooms. New biomes from the PC version are coming over, including mesas, jungles, swamps, and extreme hills. You'll find abandoned mine shafts, villages, and other cool places to explore. There'll be a new interaction bu button, so you'll accidentally never punch a sheep again. <laughs> uh, lots of bug fixes as well. New feature generation, including lakes, vines, and monster rooms. Huge, huge, huge update uh, that will be rolling out tomorrow. So, And that's uh, across both of the Android and uh, iOS stuff, so just... Once it hits the store, you'll you'll have access and uh, awesome stuff. But yeah, so it's getting closer to the PC side of it, isn't it, Joe? <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're clearly trying to bring all the platforms in sync. I think it's really cool that that mobile is getting Infinite Worlds, which I don't think even the new console version. Yeah, has. they don't. Not yet. No. Um. So I, that's a really cool thing. And and uh, you know what would be fantastic is if they reach the point where mobile is netcode compliant with standard desktop. Yep. To the point where you could take your mobile and hop onto one of the main pub servers. I think that would be amazing. Totally. At the very least, hop onto a Realm server with some other players. I think that would be that would be adequate. I could stand for just being able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, it's great. Awesome. Any update to any version is fantastic. Totally. Uh, and uh, now... We're doing this show on Wednesdays today. We're recording this on Wednesday for tomorrow. And uh, wow, Joe, guess what? Snapshot time. Snapshot yeah. 14. Remember we, because uh, we knew we were going to be shifting days a little bit. So we asked Mojang if they would release their snapshots on Wednesdays. And they said, and, go ahead. Uh, sure enough, they were like, yeah, no problem. We'll just change that. No big deal. This for one, uh, they, they've already said it, uh, that they're entering the last phase of development for 1.8. And they're finalizing features, fixing bugs, and opt re doing more optimizations. Uh, this one includes, now maybe Joe, you can talk a little bit about, about this. It says here, servers can now customize network compression and server properties. So is this helping out with uh, those administrators, like what we have on a server, better ping rate perhaps, or better rubber banding or whatever? Or uh, Probably just lower network overhead or, okay. or being able to support more clients on a slower connection, that yeah. sort of thing. Okay. Um, you know, they moved to a new a new network code, uh, an actual... Um, established network code a while ago. I, I don't remember if it's an open source project or not, but they moved to a a, a, a pretty significant upgrade in, in what the netcode actually was. And this is just something that is built into it that is uh, uh, allows gotcha. them to do is do, do compressed packets and stuff like that. So it should be good. Okay. Uh, it does mean that a server on a lower end connection, which honestly there aren't all that many anymore, right. will be able to host yeah. a few more people. But Minecraft is usually memory limited, not network limited. So. We'll any any other significant pull aways from this snapshot at all? Uh so this week's snapshot not too significant. Uh that's that's twenty eight, right? Yeah, twenty eight A. I thought I had it open somewhere. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Ah, twenty eight A. Uh so um a few things. There's uh they've they've added um a new command to uh for command blocks called stats. Uh, it originally was called command stats last week. Uh, that's something really kind of cool, but not a lot of end users are never going to see it. I mean, command blocks are are very much an admin or or operator thing on a on a server. Um, a few other things like that, but mostly a lot of bug fixes. Like you said, they're moving into the final phase. The big thing that we missed last week because we recorded early, right, is uh, the introduction of bunnies. Bunnies, bunnies. Uh, so Aww, bunnies is a all bunnies. new, fr uh, sort of friendly mob. Sort of. Um, do, can we, yeah, wait, so, can we give uh, well, zombie we'll bunnies? About, we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. uh, so what's really cool about bunnies is uh, if you um, if you have a, a spawn egg for bunnies, every once in a while you get three instead of one, which is kind of funny because, you know, you get a lot of bunnies. Um, they uh, they do hop around. You can use them as a food source, and I think you can make some clothing with them. I think they make... Anyway, they're, they're cool. Um, they drop uh, rabbit feet, uh, which you can use to brew a leaping potion so you can jump higher. Nice. Um, okay. Stuff like that. They they do drop mutton, which you can use as a food source. They uh, they they interestingly though for a bunny anyway they don't reproduce on their own. So you have to feed them to get them to reproduce. You know, okay. like like a lot of the other animals. Right. Yeah. I think they should reproduce on their own. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Walk away from a pen and come back to a whole bunch of bunnies. <laughs> but it's probably better for servers that they don't. Yeah. yeah. Um. The cool thing is, the and I think this is amazing. You, there's a one in one thousand chance that 
when a bunny spawns, it will spawn as the killer rabbit, killer killer rabbit of Ka- uh, Carbonog. Carbonog? Car- Carbonog? What? what? I don't know. Anyway, it's a Monty Python thing. If you ever oh. watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail, there's the killer rabbit with the big sharp teeth. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that thing will spawn every once in a while, and apparently he is fairly vicious and will attack players. Um, I think that's amazing, and I want to know how to spawn one just every time. Always. That's what I will spawn. You want a spawn uh, egg for it, yes. I just for that I don't want a, a generic bunny spawn egg is great no problem with that right, I have no yeah. issues but I really want to be able to spawn the killer rabbit uh, just because it it could be really entertaining. Well, there you go. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> th- they're getting closer to one eight. Uh, hopefully, we'll be yeah. closer to a pre-release soon. Maybe in the next couple few weeks. Uh, obviously, there's a lot going on over there with uh, the current gen consoles, the Xbox One and PS4 editions uh, coming up soon as well. No further news about those, but they're obviously just around the corner as well. So, um, hey, guys, want to let you all know uh, there is just one week, one week to reserve yourself the first ever GeekGamer.tv shirt. It's called the GeekGamer TV first shirt. Now, the way Teespring works is real simple. You head over to Teespring.com slash GG shirt. Head over to the website there. And you can uh, pick a shirt, or if you like long sleeve, you can pick a long sleeve shirt or a women's tee. Now, here's the deal, you guys. You're probably wondering, well, gee, you know, I don't have the money right now. Well, you can actually reserve it. The way tees, excuse me, ah, the way Teespring works, you guys, is the fact that we have to get to our goal of 25. If we don't get to 25, what happens is these shirts do not get made. We have to get to 25 sold, and we have to do it before we get to the end of the timer. So we have a week left. We have to sell at least nine more shirts to get these shirts made. It's a real simple, clean shirt. You got the Geek Gamer TV logo there on the front, and then on the back, it says Geek Gamer TV. So if you want to pull the trigger on one of these, I I will be doing it. Joe will be doing it. We're going to try to convince our friends to do it. You guys should do it. the markup on these shirts is very, very minimal. Whatever extra we make from these shirts basically goes into the fund to help support Geek Gamer TV. So if you want to pick yourself up a shirt or maybe one as a gift, go to teespring.com slash GG shirt. I also want to let everybody know about our Patreon. Now, uh, you guys are awesome. We had another great month of, of people who signed up. We only, We only got a couple of new people who signed up. Now, here's the thing about Patreon. Some of the people who signed up last month, whether or not it was intentional or a mistake, some people said that they were going to commit to X amount and then their charges never went through. And some of them were pretty big amounts. So big, in fact, that now we are under our 100% server goals. So right now uh, is if this current track continues, um, yeah, we'll have to start paying a little bit out of our pocket again, which is fine. You know, we love you guys and uh, the, the cost will be minimal, but it's one of those things where we really want this show to be supported by the community. It's one of those things where we give you guys so much. We have a community server, forums, team speak. We have the file servers where you can download the shows really fast and it will always remain free, but to offset those costs would be great. So if you want to find out more information about supporting our show on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Minecraft. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Minecraft, and you can support us on Patreon. All right, Joe. So, well, there, there I, I, I want to make one correction because I got oh. yelled at in the chat for this. Oh, okay. Uh, rabbits do not, uh, not uh, at all unsurprising since mutton comes from sheep, not rabbits. Rabbits do not drop mutton. They have made it so sheep now drop mutton. Uh, Rabbits drop feet and other stuff like that. So, so sorry, sorry everybody. That was that was me reading the part of the line that said "drop mutton" and not sheep. Fair was, enough. I'm gonna blame John. All right, sure, he's not here, and yeah. we'll blame him. Sure. Yeah, All right, Joe. So, um, uh, what? Yeah, so uh, what version of uh, Minecraft is, am I using? What are we, What are we doing? Go. Uh, we're, uh, just use the same one you'll use on the pub server. This oh, okay. is a uh, a really simple thing. 
um, that uh, that we're just gonna put together real quick. It should be it should be pretty easy and straightforward, what and you will this? get the idea well, fairly quickly. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna call it a reverse sorting system. I think that's the that's the only description I've heard or I've I've come up with that sort of describes it. A, re, a reverse sorting system. A reverse sorting system. Yeah. Reverse sorting system. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, are we doing this on our on our show server? Are we doing? Yeah, on the show server. So, okay. hop on the show server. Yeah. All right. So, very good. I'm uh, I'm heading over there now, and uh, oh look, it's our humble abode again. Look at this. It's so yeah. I haven't great. been in there for a while. I know. It's been a while. Uh, mm -hmm. So, all right. So, am I, I guess I have to go outside because that's probably yes. where you're at. Yeah. So I'm you heading out here. Oh wow. There's the. Wow. I remember that. Yeah, that thing is over there. Every once in a while, you'll see a uh, an iron golem drop down. Actually, you can come over and check it out and, and see <laughs> how much uh, how much iron we've actually collected in this thing. Oh wow! Uh, not that much. It, it, the server you have to remember this thing doesn't run all the time, um, so it's uh, it's bare, it's almost a full stack of iron in there right now. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is uh, like I said, a, a sort of reverse sorting system, and, and the idea is that. If you have, let's say you have a, a just an area when you're building and you don't want to deal with um, keeping all of your stuff sorted, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to go through the complexity of building a full sorting system and you want to, but you still want to keep everything accessible. You right. Know, okay. So that, so that it's not very hard to grab. So let's say you have a, uh, you have a chest and you just put a bunch of random stuff in it. I don't know. If, I don't, I don't know that we have any, like just a whole bunch of random <laughs> I mean, I'll throw I'll throw some random stuff at you. You can just toss in there for me. Uh, some common, reasonably common blocks. And, uh, here we'll throw a whole stack of dirt. Okay, so, all right, fair enough. All right, some grass. Nice. And, uh, and some, some random. Some, yeah, we'll just just grab some random stuff. Uh, uh, and uh, and go ahead and throw all that stuff. All that stuff that I gave you, just throw in that chest. And um, and we'll we'll actually actually don't don't throw it in that chest. Oh. Me, uh, and the skies have opened up. <sighs> That always happens. I don't know why that always seems to happen when we start a show. All right, so I'm going to put the chest up one level just for ease of uh, so we can see access to it. So yeah, throw all your stuff in there. All right, fair enough. So while gonna... you're doing that, I'm going to start uh, building around it, and uh, let's do a little bit more. Over all here. right, so I got all my items in the chest here. Okay, got it. Okay, and uh, I'm going to put another chest next oops, next to it, um, and then down here at the end, I'm just going to put some redstone rail with a uh, block and some sand to activate the redstone. And over here, I'm going to put another redstone rail. This is, Like I said, this is actually really simple. Um, so here now, look, we have this this redstone track. And if I put something on it, it'll just go back and forth, right? If yeah, I put a yeah. Because there's bing, 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 right, yeah. So all we're going to do is we're going to throw a minecart with a hopper on it. Okay. Okay. And then in that hopper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, a bu I'm just going to grab some ore that I have. I'm going to grab some common, just iron ore because it's relatively common. But also, iron ore isn't something you usually keep. Usually, you smelt it into iron ingots because iron ore doesn't really do you anything. Huh. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so now, if you take a look at that hopper, you can see there's one gap at the very beginning. You see? see yeah, the hopper? Right there. See? There's one gap. So, uh, what was something we put in one of these chests? So, we put in, uh, let's take some of the dirt out. Uh, I'm going to take about half the dirt out. Um, and, uh, I'll throw some more, some more grass in. All right. That should be good. So I'm going to give you a block, an, another block of dirt and, uh, let's throw some dirt in here too. I'll throw a little bit of dirt in. All right. Um, so here, I'm just going to throw you a block, a single piece of dirt. Oh, uh, or a stack of it. Just put one piece of dirt in the front of that, that very open, that open spot on the hopper. Because remember, a hopper will always fill up if there's an open gap. So all you want to do is just click once. Just left click. And you, you keep picking up whole stacks of stuff. I didn't mean Seriously. to. Pick pick it up. Pick it up. Right click once. Once you put it up there. I know. I, eh, there whatever. Yeah, all right. It's going to work on your, your inventory handling skills. Yeah, there. yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So uh, so we have a full a full on uh, hopper, right? Right. The yeah. hopper has all of its spots are full. You can't add anything more to it, except all you can do is add stuff to stacks. Right. And this this thing that's in there that, it, you know, the iron is, uh, there's no iron in these chests, we don't have, or iron ore in the chest, so we don't have to worry about that. So if we just send this hopper back and forth, and you could make this as long as you wanted, and uh, we'll we'll figure, uh, we'll see how much we got. All right, now click on it again. What? Well, we picked up the, tw we picked up 25 of the dirt blocks that were in the two chests. 
Wow. And so the cool thing about this is if you have one block of anything, right. so say you have a bunch of chests, you have maybe maybe four different chests, yeah. and they're all full of different stuff, and they're just totally random because you're mining and you don't care. You get back up to them, you just dump all your inventory. Right. But you later on go, hey, I want all of the diamond out of those. You put one piece of diamond in that first bin, you let the thing go back and forth. It might take a couple of minutes because it's kind of slow. So it's only whatever's it in, that, in that in that first bin, though, in that first slot, though, right? It's only whatever's in the first slot, unless slot. you have iron ore, and it would it would start filling up the iron ore, the stacking the iron ore. Oh, I because see. it can only it can only stack on things that it already has. It right. can't stack on something that is different. So you can have like so, one of one of different items in all the slots, and then as it goes as down, as long the as track, all the slots are full, and you, you, yeah, you have something in something unique in each one. Yeah, you can, you would, does, you would get it that way too. Do, and it doesn't matter. Does it matter of the speed of the cart? Like, let's say you space out so, your redstone track, and well, the the so the the redstone's only there so the cart bounces back and forth. Right. Um. So we could put uh, another piece of uh, another piece of uh, powered rail at the end here. Or in the middle, and it, it would be fine. And so you can make this as long as you want. You just have to keep putting, you know, the booster tracks. I'm just saying, does the speed of the of the the cart going underneath the uh, the chest make any difference? Yeah, it doesn't pull everything. Oh, uh, okay. it will eventually, but it takes a while. So if you open up, uh, open up one of the chests. So here, open up the the left chest, and I'm gonna move. So I just put a whole stack of dirt in there. Right. And I'll take. All of the dirt, but one out. Open that chest back up and, and just watch it. Okay. And you'll see it grabs a couple of items at a time. It doesn't grab a lot of it, but it grabs a few of them at a time. And so it will take a while for it to grab an entire stack. But wow. you know what? This is really, really simple. So if you're intimidated by sorting systems, if you don't like the idea of of doing a lot of redstone complexity or anything like that, this is the, uh, we ne we use no redstone. The only redstone we use is in the torches. Wow. Right. Yeah. The, the, and the power and the rails. So this is a really, really simple, like I said, sort of a reverse sorting system. You know, so now, you know, you take oh, a look at it. You look at that that cart again now. If you look at the hopper on the cart, you'll oh. see it has the full stack of dirt. Now, one thing you could probably do in this scenario is, mm -hmm. you know, and we've kind of showed this off before, is set up maybe a timed circuit where you could send a cart down with what whatever's in there. You know, pick uh, drop off or pick up what it, what you wanted to pick up. Have a time circuit and then have it kick back to you. Um, you could and 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 actually one one modification of this is to have the cart stop right. So have it stop underneath. Use a a brake rail. Right. Um. So if it's not powered, remember if if a a a, a booster rail or a powered rail isn't powered, it acts as a brake, so it'll stop. Ah. And then when you power it, it'll it'll. Well, it, it actually doesn't start always start going right away, but yeah. you put it on a slope. Yeah. Uh, but you, yeah, you can do that, and it will, uh, it will keep. Um, it, you can grab, you can stop underneath the cart and fill up the entire hopper until it's ready. Or the other thing you can do too is have a uh, have another underneath this, have another chest that the hopper dumps all of its stuff into. Oh, well, that's easy. That's yeah. nice. So it's a really, it's a really, really simple way to do this. It it makes it pretty straightforward, and uh, and yeah, you can actually gather um, material across a whole bunch of different chests. And the nice thing is, you you all you need is one of them, and you can pick up everything, and you don't wow. have to to worry about it. Like I said, it's really simple. That's the attraction here. Is it is yes, you can make this as compl. Ooh, there's an iron di uh, iron golem dying right now. Uh, you can make this as complicated oh. as you want. You can build Oof. this up and make it really really cool. Uh, but this is a super super system, uh, simple system, and you can extend this and make it run to as many different chests as you want. If you want another set of chests out here, you know, you just keep adding chests. Right. And and if you you know these are spaced by one because they're all the same chest. If you want, you can use trap chests, and you don't have to have space them out like that. Well, and the cool thing too is, like you mentioned, it's not only easy, but it doesn't take a lot of material. Uh, it doesn't take a lot right. of redstone. You can do this as long or as short as you want to make it, and that I, that's really appealing to to me and. Obviously, we sh we're showing this above ground, but you can kind of set this up for an underground situation where you have the cart running underground the chest, and the chests are up on top. You may never even see this whole system underneath, and right. you can have this whole kind of automated in a way. Yeah, and and this so here here I've I've switched it so we have four chests now, and they alternate regular, trapped, regular, trapped, 
And that way, uh, they can be right next to each other. Because remember, you can't put tr standard chests next to each other. Right. Uh, double wide chests. You can you can do it with with trap chests, but not with standard chests. So, so here you can see it's just going back and forth, and it will slowly gather whatever it whatever you put in that first space. Wow. As long as the other the other spaces are full, it'll just gather all the those pieces out. That is so cool. So I mean, it's just one of those really simple things, and I saw. I I have to admit, this is not my idea. I found this online. Uh, a guy posted it on Reddit. And I thought it was a really cool, really simple thing to do, and uh, and figured it would make for an interesting uh, little little deal here that people might want to see and 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 try. And this is this is exactly the sort of thing that would be easy to build in a creative server on our server. Uh, you don't have to worry about it, and as long as you make sure you have a button or a lever at the end so you can turn the thing off when you leave. Right. You know, no because, problem. Because because the thing it. is, eventually that cart's going to get full, and then you know, having it going back and forth, it won't it won't matter. So yeah, it won't really. And and if you look at it now, you can see it's got a, a full stack of of dirt, and then uh, um, it's it has the the uh, the four uh, iron ore blocks. So it is actually full right now. You could you could you know take out all the dirt, but now it'll gather up whatever other dirt is in there. So and you could if you wanted to uh, gather dual stacks instead of having four stacks of iron ore you put in two stacks or, or yeah you put in three stacks of iron ore and two stacks or two single blocks of dirt and it'll gather two stacks of dirt. We got a great or whatever uh, your material great is. question from the chat. James mm -hmm. wants to know is isn't the range of the system only nine chunks on normal view range? Is this a a system yeah, where you yeah so yeah because uh, minecarts will stop running if you go away from where they are if if the chunk that they're in unloads. So normally it it's only chunks that are populated that are loading. So this is something you want to keep going. You want to keep you want to build around your base or build near you. You can't build it like forever away, and you can't make this you know eight thousand blocks long running across a server. It, it just won't work. But if you make it in your base, you make it so yeah you have you know this is maybe your your ground level is uh, is up here, right? Right. Oh there yeah. And uh, and so this is how you access the chest. And then right here at the end, you just uh, and so instead of having the switch on the side, you have the switch on the top. Yeah. And now you you can you know get to the the, the minecart still, and you can still get to all of these chests. And you actually can. Uh, here's the way I would I would power this is I would actually use a uh, redstone block underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and now yeah you have uh, so here's something that's totally above ground. I'm gonna set it back today. Um, and uh, and you know you don't you can hear it you can hear the minecart going. But uh, you know it's out of sight, and you just have these chests across the top. And when you're, uh, yeah, when you're ready to gather the materials out of it, turn off the switch. I like that. Here, take whatever's in the in the in the uh, cart out, and you're good to go. Yeah. Someone also says you could just have an account that stands there, but uh, <laughs> they, yeah, that is true. You could, and and there are people with multiple accounts who will just idle for hours in a server just to keep uh, their actually, creations they will idle, going. Idle for I think ninety six minutes and they kicked out. Um, so <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, uh, but yeah, this is uh, like I said. I thought this was cool and really simple, and uh, something that we could we could demonstrate pretty quickly. And I'm gonna call it and simple, anybody could build. I'm gonna call it so. simple sorting. That's what I'm gonna call it. Because it is simple it's sorting. Simple sorting. And look, now we have a fully contained system that looks clean. The only the only thing is, it just sounds you know. Yeah. Well, and if you if you step down here while it's going, it's gonna run into you. <laughs> uh, but that's why you know that's why you have uh, booster rails and, and stuff like that to keep that cart moving. So. Very cool. Yeah. And so we've we've shown we've shown off the extreme sorting systems before, and uh, yeah, we've now, shown off fully fully automated where you have hoppers leading into hoppers leading into hoppers leading yeah. into hoppers, sorting blocks out every different block type into different chests and stuff like that, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, however, it's a little bit for some people it's a little intimidating to try to do, and this is clearly simple. I mean, anybody you should be able to figure this out. Uh, we should be able to post this, a picture, just a couple pictures of this thing online, <laughs> and most people should be able to figure out how to build it. Yeah, fair so enough. it is really, really simple. Well, cool deal. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for showing us that, Mister Joe. So we're gonna move on now to the result. Well, see, the other reason I wanted to do this is I was tired of falling into lava. What What are you talking about, Jared Joe? Yeah, I'm sure you have no idea what I'm I, I I have no I have no idea what you mean. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about there, Joe? Yeah. Because the other option was resuming that adventure map. And right. We'll get back to it eventually, but... 
<laughs> well, Joe, uh, it's now time to reveal the results of the C, uh, the number three, number three server challenge. And uh, we we only had four entries, which you know, which happens. You know, I understand. You know, it happens. Here, here are the uh, the four entry buttons. And uh, should we uh, review them, uh, or sh uh, should we just go ahead and uh, unveil the winners? What, what are you thinking, Joe? Um, what are you thinking? Well, why don't we? Yeah, why don't we do? Why don't? Why don't? Because there there are only four. Right, that's true. So let's. Why don't we? Why don't we review them in in reverse order? So we'll start with honorable mention. Right, that'd be fourth place. That'd be all, yeah. That'd be correct. It? It's. Man, um, it's the rain is yeah, following uh, us, Joe. It is. I'm. I'm trying to kill it. Now. Uh, all right. So it should. It should stop raining soon. All right. So we'll start with honorable mention, and that is fourth place, which was. You want to say it or? You go for it. Yeah. I, I announced uh, it last it was time. So entry number one made by Team BC75. Um, oh, I teleported. She, yeah. See, uh, Sonic was standing right next to it. Uh, which is this one, right? Yeah, this one, uh, which is underneath this cool tower. That, so the, the, this was one. Of I thought anyway, I thought this was great. Uh, definitely, I thought this was great. deserving I'm, of an honorable mention as well. Oh, definitely, because it's so. The thing about this one is the other the others had, and we'll hit them in a minute. They had uh, working games, and this one really didn't have any working games. But the the representation of the game is really good. Yeah, uh, totally. I mean, it is definitely the most realistic looking, I think, to me anyway. Um, which I thought I thought was really cool. I, I mean, obviously some artistic license because it is Minecraft, but uh, but definitely cool. By the way, so notice that is, the look, someone's making a huge map. Oh, that's cool! Wow. Uh, <laughs> now, what 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 did we use? Uh, what block did we use for the uh, honorable mention? Do you remember? I, um, I, I don't. I don't remember either because I know we have obviously uh, blue is for first, uh, red is second. Uh, Gold is third, I think, or yellow is third. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I did for fern. Um, yeah, I, can't. I don't remember. Was it? Wasn't it bedrock? <laughs> I think uh, it was. one of them was bedrock, so that they couldn't move it. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do nether quartz ore for the honorable mention this time. There you go. So, so I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, hold on. I need to uh, ignore a claim here. And we'll put a sign up. Honorable mention. And this is server challenge. I uh, have to abbreviate. Challenge three. There we are. Sweet. All right, Joe. Well, let's move on to our third place i'm gonna head back here and do a slash back it's now time for our third place entry third place and this was a tough one but this is gonna go to and this was voted on by you guys third place yeah. is entry number four this was by jen in the morning and kiandro so let's jump in here and i thought first off the the outside of this thing was just epic it's very well designed Looks great. Yeah, very Taj Mahal looking. I mean. Yes. And I believe gold was third, so I'm going to do that here. You want to talk about it real quick while I'm setting up a sign? Yeah, here? so uh, so for those who don't remember, this was the one that had the big game on in the middle that was uh, turn on all of the redstone floor blocks, uh, which was an actual working game, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then it also had, of course, a bunch of pinball machines and other machines, uh, other systems around the corners. Um Sonic's actually in here right now trying to play the game. Uh, I don't think he's doing all that well. Oh. oh dude. Wait, wait, maybe he's got it. Dude, I don't know. Dude, anyway, are I you having you. a hard time with the zombie? No, he just wants he a just hug. He just wants a hug? He just wants a hug. Um, <laughs> so, so definitely a cool one. Uh, this is, uh, like you said, Jen in the Mornings, uh, I believe is who built this one. Yes. Jen Indra in the Morning and Jen in the Morning. Yep. Uh, which is uh, definitely cool. I thought um, this so yeah, game was excellent. This, this game was excellent. Uh, very, very well done. Uh, the voting was very, very close for the, for all of the of the voting. So it was, uh, hopefully next time you guys we can get some more voters in there because a lot of a lot of the votes were very, very close. Uh, but yeah. let's let's go ahead. I'm gonna head back here and we're gonna go now to 
the runner-up or second place here. Second place. This is one of those things where uh, if the, the champion cannot fulfill its duty, then the runner-up will have to be forced to fulfill it. And that is entry number two. The runner-up is Schaefer King. And this was on the floor of his tower. Yeah. And actually, yeah, this since is it's a, in the another tower, one that was built into the tower. And this is the one that had the really nice, uh, nicely designed actual arcade machines um, around the outside, which was pretty cool. And then a couple of, of uh, I think, was this one that had a couple of working games? Oh, it, it also, it, I don't remember. No, this this one this one has the, the pinball machines and it has stand up arcades and and uh, even a prize counter for ticket redemption over here, um, which is pretty cool. You can you can pick up uh, chewed up gum for for some tickets. Right, I, I love the pinball your machine. Favorite, your favorite song is in here. I remember talking about this. Your favorite song is in, in here, right? Uh, Wrecking Ball, right? What? Right? I never heard it. Wrecking Ball, but yeah, it's right. It's right there. I don't. I don't, I don't that, own that, that album. This is that album right there. What? I've never heard of it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure you. Yeah, you don't own that. Yeah, you. you can you can you really say that? Can you really say I, no, that I've you, uh, I've you don't? I've never heard of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. heard of yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> so second so, place. Second. Nice place, job uh, there, Schaefer King, and that is uh, you get a couple of blocks of redstone uh, there, and now that obviously last but certainly not least because they are first, or he is first. Or it's first <laughs> is Musa <laughs> one two three four six seven eight nine entry number three. Let me jump in here. Maybe there's server lag. Try it again. There it goes. There you go. There I am. Because it was because Sonic was standing closer. So. And as we look back here, we could see there is the Aladdin's castle, kind of a Aladdin symbol there. And we go inside here. First off, I'm going to uh, the blue. Blue ribbon, which is the lapis block here. Let me put it in. Uh, yeah, but, and this uh, this was the one. This is the one that, for those who don't remember, did have several working games. It had a uh, a hoop shoot, a um, work in progress. That wasn't it. Uh, there was there was another game around here somewhere. Minecraft pinball. Oh, motorbike pro. That's right. It had that. Yeah, I, I um, thought that was great. The yeah, you had the the creeper pig, pig rider. It had pig rider, and yeah, this pig. is the one that had uh that had the um the donkey. In yeah, the, in the yeah. Manager. Actually, Jeffrey, the arcade yeah. manager. <laughs> yes, Jeffrey, the arcade manager, and the uh, air hockey <laughs> creeper air hockey. Uh, forgot about that one. Uh, carrot on a stick for the pig rider over here because you can you can actually ah. do pig rider. See pig rider. See, I thought the the, the great thing about this a uh, motorbike pro, which you got a cart in here. Yeah. Uh, I loved the the hoop shoot, which was great because you I, walk in. I I, oh, there we go. Okay. And the, yep. I just thought this was just great, 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 great. Yeah, really stuff. cool. Pull the lever to pick the carrots. There you go. You just pick the carrot. You're playing carrot picker. Yeah. <laughs> medieval battlefield zero dot one medieval siege. I mean, just great stuff. And then the neat yeah. thing here is staying within the confines. He hid the the redstone stuff outside. Like for obviously for the the droppers and stuff, so just incredible yeah, it's, it's stuff. It's all underground, or or yeah, you can see there's there's actually a hole in the floor right now. Probably not supposed to be, but there is. Uh, <laughs> and so all the redstone is is hidden from view. And uh, the other thing is, uh, you, you, Sonic's trapped outside because because the exit right, signs are can't, awesome. Can't open the door. Sorry, I was just <laughs> little dude. Running. Uh, exit signs are awesome, but also the doors are on a uh, on a night switch. So uh, yeah, come on out. And uh, and. When the time goes tonight, uh oh, ah, the, the, it closes. <laughs> that's and, the, uh, oh, Sonic kick. That's, that's what happens. You can see it's it's got limited hours. It's not open all the time. You can't. Uh, all right, I'll I'll let. Yeah, you, I'll let you <laughs> Sonic was locked in. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but yeah, it's uh, I'm probably freaking everybody. Oh, uh, watch out for that spider. Yeah. Sorry about that. Watch out for the spider there. Uh oh, little little. Oh, and the baby zombie. No. Oh, Sonic's gonna regret having been over here. Oh, <laughs> oh, can Type slash back pretty quickly. Oh no, he's got a. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> little baby zombie just wants to be friends. He just. Right. Oh, I, he just. I, he... I I took pity on on Sonic and and brought him back to to. Uh, Sorry. About that. Uh. Um. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, definitely definitely a cool build and well worth getting first place. It is awesome, and uh, like I said, I love the I love all the detail. the The fact that it has actual opening hours and stuff like that 
And here's a list right on the front. I don't know. Uh, oh, I just I just came back here. because yeah. there's a reason why I came back. So we're back here, by the way. I'm back here. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, this is the Geek Gamer office. Oh, very nice. Uh, let me uh, jump back over here. I'm going to jump outside. I'm heading over to the, the Spawn Theater. But it's not the Spawn Theater. This month, it is now called... And actually, I, I mistyped the sign. I It's Zombie Pigman 42's Theater of Pain. So this is Zombie Pigman's 42, Zombie Pigman 42's Theater of Pain. Uh, we have okay. uh, the pa <laughs> Patreon has a naming rights, and mm -hmm. one of those naming rights is naming it that. And by the way, look at all the people that are in here. By the way, we have the entire thing. We can go ahead and set off the uh, our uh, our server exp del uh, delivery system. Because I want to say a big thanks to all you guys here checking out the show. Now, if you're checking out our show live and you're in our server when you're watching the show, we deliver the goods. We give you experience, which, by the way, I'm, I I think I'm going to try to do on my own here. Maybe I can, Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on getting it. Okay, fair enough. I don't know how to get up there, if there's any special apps. Yeah, I don't think there's actually a way up, so... Because it's the roof is slightly too high. Hi, there's Joe. But it's it's not quite. Yeah, there. Okay. Uh, let's. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm having. Oh, I can't influence that cart because I'm in invisible. Yes. Um. So okay. this is one of those things, you guys. Have, we just want to say a big thanks, to you guys, for joining us on the show, and uh, ho hopefully we'll uh, we'll get you guys some delivered EXP. But thank you for joining us during our live show. We do it every week. Uh, typically on Thursdays live, but this week we had to do it on Wednesdays because Joe's uh, busy doing something called a LAN party. PDX LAN 20, is it 23 or 24? I think uh, it's 24. 24. I don't know. I lost track. Wow. So, yes, uh, which is which is very, very awesome. But, you guys, that's not all. There's more in regards to the server challenges. Uh, we have challenge number four happening right now, and you have a week left. And, Joe, you want to remind everybody what the challenge is yeah so the uh challenge this week is uh okay i think i have it they got about a week left oh there the it challenge. goes there it goes uh challenge this week is um uh largest redstone door uh so largest or most interesting redstone door so however you want to interpret that whether you want to make one that's huge uh opens completely or if you just want to make one that opens in a really cool pattern Either way, I'm good with both. Uh, okay. I want to see what people can do. Yes. Um, I love redstone contraptions, and I'm only sometimes okay at making them. Right. So I love seeing other people make really cool ones, and uh, and that's that's really what I want to see. So I want to see cool redstone doors. So figure it out. Uh-oh. Hold on here. Amanda, come here. My, my dog decided to jump in the show. Come here. Come over oh. here. And I do not want her under the computer desk part, because if she goes under there, you know what happens. Yeah, wires get pulled. Yes. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's not good. Uh, I've had it happen. Yes, <laughs> uh, but there you go. You guys got one week uh, left. Uh, we announced it last week's show, so you have one week left. Make sure you submit your entries via the form, the server showcase form on our website at minecraftme.com. Uh, just click on the uh, the showcase nomination form and then drop down and say this is for the challenge, and then hopefully we'll get a lot of these entries and we'll make it a show. In about a week, next week's show. If we don't get any entries, then we'll just say, well, that's too bad. Oh, yeah. It's now time for Minecraft me messages. You send in your questions, Minecraft-related stuff. If they could be a video question, audio question, or written, and we'll get to them, most of them on every show. Not all of them, but we get to a lot of them. Uh, first question comes in from I ISO8. It says, hey, guys, I, wa I, I have to watch a show. I've watched it since episode 50 and I had to stop because of school, but I'm back and I'm loving the show even more. Anyway, I have a little question for Joe. When I watch Minecraft Me, the HD video, I see you guys get to AT&T Park and other places. Am I able to get there? Also, how do I get to the arcade builds for server challenge number two? Hope this question wasn't too long and keep digging. So at least for the next week, you can check out the arcade builds. We'll still have the button set up in the uh, portal area of our spawn manor. Just do slash spawn, go down one level, and you're there. Real simple and there's easy. The, there's holes on the corner yeah, so that will drop you down into yeah. water pits. So you, you can you can just drop down right through those and uh and you'll look around and you'll see the portal to uh resource map 
you'll see portals to uh, portal to the uh, plots area. So if you're Patreon, that's how you get to your plot to build stuff. Um, and uh, or if you're a, a regular viewer, uh, not a Patreon, you can just go in and check it out what they built at least for now. Yep. Um, and uh, uh, and included will be a wall of buttons. And and those buttons are labeled one, two, three, and four. So and we some, probably should put a sign on the on those buttons that say who the first play first yeah. through. Uh, and some some have uh, some have suggested if if we could maybe have a button to take people to AT and T Park, and I'm not against that at all. Uh, you yeah. know, have a, a quick right to the main entrance, and you can check it out. So yeah, we'll set that up for for people as well. So uh, yeah. we'll do a button or a portal to AT and T Park because I think a portal is buttons are are in my view are temporary, short term things. A portal would be a permanent, permanent thing. thing. So yep. we'll Good we'll call. do a but we'll do a portal or something like that. There you go. Uh, got another new uh, new question here from Ty. Uh, it says, "Hey Joe and Chase, I'm still assuming it is Joe and Chase. Of course it is. Uh, I find your show incredibly entertaining. I first learned of Minecraft from a friend who was hooked, but dismissed it as blocky. I've heard that before. Uh, after it was released for the Xbox 360, I decided to rent a copy off of Redbox to see what the, all the fuss was about, and I was immediately hooked." I now play Minecraft with my three daughters, ages four, six, and ten. I'm thinking of purchasing a copy for Minecraft for the PC after I get a better computer. Your show gives me new ideas to incorporate into my own world and has made my experience with Minecraft more enjoyable. Keep digging. This is from Ty and Natchez, Washington. I'm only on episode 19, but I plan on catching <laughs> up soon. Well, at this pace, he won't hear this response for another few months <laughs> but uh, but thanks for the email great stuff uh next one here uh, joe you want to take this one from uh j solid 110 do you have it in front of you there i don't all right no I, problem i, I, I uh, lost track of, hey, i don't know i i actually don't know which messages you're reading uh no problem um I, i'm three <laughs> from the top uh hey chase and joe j solid 110 here i have a question oh, for you oh. guys i was wondering is it possible to move creations mm. in the server I have my tower entry on my plot at the time I build it, but I didn't have that much space in my plot, and now I have more claim blocks, and I would like to build my base. However, my tower takes up the front of my plot, and I wanted to move it to the back of the plot so it's not in the way. We've gotten this question in some form or fashion before, mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, while yes, technically, we could there are ways to move it, of course, with World Edit. We've we've actually showed off World Edit on the show. Uh, we can't do it for you, unfortunately, and here's why: uh, we would be blasted <laughs> with creation move uh, uh, creation move requests all the time, uh, and it's one of those things where it's not an exact science either. Uh, it's one of those things where you think you copied all the blocks and then you went to paste it and it didn't quite paste right. And I've had that happen to me a few times. Um, so there is a way of doing it, uh, but not on our server. Uh, we, we only did really do it for one, two major situations. When we went from season one to season two, or we moved the, uh, the spawn manor spawn building manor. Yep. and then at t park. That's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> so uh so yeah we don't even do it for ourselves because it's just something it's a headache. well I, I i do it for the resource yeah stuff. resources yeah because i can't because i can't be bothered to rebuild those things yeah yeah no 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 worries there <laughs> but, uh, but no we we really really yeah because it's just it that sort of thing just opens up a, a giant can of worms and uh doing it for one person wouldn't take very long doing it for everyone would take a while. Yes, yes, it would, and <laughs> and then all of a sudden you would have requests that it would take some mm -hmm. time and all that. Yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. Um. Hey, a next question here. Uh, last question, I should say. This comes from up and coming, dear Joe and Chase. How does it feel to have impacted so many people's lives and lifestyles with your show and server? People spend tons of time on your server every day. Evidence of this is in the amazing server showcases, and everyone, including me looks forward to your show, and greatly enjoys it. Thanks for the great show that has definitely impacted my lifestyle. Keep digging. This is from Up and Coming. Not really a question, more of a great statement. Well, there was a question. How, how do you feel that you've impacted so many people's lives and lifestyles with the show um, and the server? First off, for me, I... And I, I'm being straight up with you guys. I didn't think it would ever be like this. 
Um, I honestly thought that Joe and I would do a little show about Minecraft. Sure, a few people would download it, check it out. Um, and that's it. You know, you you don't you don't think it would, it would be like all of the other shows. <laughs> It'd be like that, everything that I've gone tried. before. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy to think about. You know, we we do a show, another show, uh, which uh, we didn't do a show last week because of the holiday, but we have over two hundred and sixty two episodes called Geek Gamer Weekly. It's just a a show about games and tech and stuff. And the response is okay. I mean, there's a few people that download the show, but nothing like the people who've downloaded this Minecraft show. And when we started the Minecraft show, honestly, the quality wasn't great. It wasn't HD. Um, you know, I was doing some screen capping just to capture the gameplay. And it, and it's one of those situations where I've just been totally just astounded by not only the people who check out the show, uh, people who find our show brand new, uh, but also the the community who's jumped up and say, hey, we wanted a server, so we launched a server, and it's just been great. It's just been awesome for me, um, and I, that's why I love doing the show. I love doing it for you guys. I love doing it for the Patreons who support the show because then we don't have to worry about download numbers and that sort of thing, you know, to try to get sponsors because they like big download numbers and that, that sort of thing. So what about you, Joe? Um, how do you feel it's impacted? How do you feel that it's been impactful to many people out there? Uh, it's a, it's know, a, it's a know. weird question. It, it's, yeah. it's a weird question because yeah. I don't, I, I, while I recognize that there are a number of people who watch the show and I can appreciate that it, to me, it doesn't feel like, to me, it just feels like you and I are hanging out, honestly. Yeah. That's, that's the uh, best part. And, uh, <laughs> and, and that, yeah, there are a few people in the chat room and there are a few people on the server who, who talk to us and, and interact with us and, and it's really, really cool. Yeah. But but when it comes down to it, it just feels like hanging out, having a good time, you know. Well, honestly, you know, one of the best parts is, you know, Joe, you know, we've been doing this show, this show alone, for a couple yeah. of years, uh, we, which is weird to think about. And I've I've known yeah. you for at least seven, a at while. least, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and it, and it's one of those things where you're right, you know, I'm hanging out with my buddy Joe, we're doing a show about Minecraft, but. I'm hanging out with my buddy Joe, you know, and it's it's one of those things where, especially, uh, I'm sorry, this is not Minecraft related, but especially in this world <laughs> where you have, you know, a lot of relationships, and what I mean by relationships is friendships and family, and people get separated and they don't stay in contact with each other. The, to have a an excuse to still bug Joe every week is very very cool. Uh, but B, you know, it's one of the things you guys, you know, just like Minecraft, people play the game to hang out together because they're hanging out together, and the game's a secondary thing. This is kind of that secondary thing, you know, first and foremost to me, it's about family and friends. And then it, the priorities move down from there. So, yeah, it's been great. It's been a great adventure, the ultimate Minecraft adventure. And there's still things happening and we're still going forward. Uh, thanks to you guys who support us on Patreon. That's one huge thing that we don't have to worry about on our shoulders. We can continue doing these shows. Uh, even when we think we're running out of ideas, something new happens. So, um, and that's the great thing about yeah. this game. It changes I mean, every week. When when A drops, we're gonna show bunnies off all over the place. I know. I figure out I will figure out a way to spawn the the killer rabbits and uh and we will I will have many, many laughs driving <laughs> you into them. Uh and and watching watching as they as they eat you alive. Yeah. I will I will thoroughly enjoy doing that. If you guys have questions you want to send it in the show, minecraftme at geekgamer.tv. You can also head over to our website at geekgamer.tv slash contact, where you can fill out a form. You can also leave us a voicemail. If you have video questions, you get right to the head of the line. Seriously, it's like an express pass to the to the head of the line if you have a question or a comment for the show. Just give us a link to a YouTube video that you have your question on, or you can attach it if it's small enough. If you've missed any part of this show... Uh, and you want to check out the show notes. Uh, we do leave show notes and links to the things that we talk about on the show, uh, to our forums, to our everything that we do. You can head over to our website at geekgamer.tv. This show is available on iTunes. Uh, if you don't use iTunes and you're an Android or Windows user, we have RSS feeds as well. Uh, and the great thing, too, is when we do this show, the, the really special thing is we do this show live. You can join our awesome chat room, which... By the way, uh, that's not that screen. It's that screen. So there's the uh, there's the chat room. By the way, they're they're hanging out with us. You might see Twitch chat all over the place because we link 
the two chats together. That's thanks to uh, the Mirror Bot by Jay Huckabee. He developed that. It's available on GitHub. It's open source, so check that out as well. Uh, Mr. Joe, getting ready for a LAN party this weekend. PDXLAN.net is the website. This LAN's sold out, but there's ones that you can sign up for. Um, this one's been sold out for months. This yeah, sold out really quick. This is going to be a big, big one, and it's uh, over the summer. So the way to beat the heat is go mm-hmm. inside. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, my understanding is the AC is a lot better this time uh, than it has been for previous events. So we should be good. But uh, but yeah, it it uh, it should be a good time. It'll be busy. It'll you can be we can scary. follow you on the Twitter uh, at Falby F A L B E Y. Anything? Uh, any potential tweets from the event? I uh, maybe, maybe one, maybe one. Uh, there's always a chance, right? You never know. Uh, but I'm I I I I wouldn't hold your breath because you would suffocate before <laughs> I tweeted. I mean, it would just happen that way. If you guys want, uh, follow me on the Twitter at Nunes N U N E S. And if you want to know when we're going live for shows, when episodes are posted, uh, when we're doing special events, like guess what? We're doing packs again this year. Packs. 2014 in Seattle, which is just a couple of months away, at Geek Gamer TV, and of course everything is at GeekGamer.tv. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Hope you have a great week. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing your entries next week. We're going to reveal them next week for the server challenge number four. So get your doors working. For Mr. Joseph Falby, I am Chase Nunes. Thank you for downloading and watching Minecraft. We will see you guys again next week. Keep digging.